Hi, my name is Dr. Ronaldo Pavri and we are at the Nanavati Max Center for Accident and Emergency Medicine. Have you ever wondered what would you do if faced with a victim of choking? And if so, and that patient were to become unconscious and unresponsive, how would you then act? We are here to tell you exactly what you do need to know. A victim suffering from choking is usually as a result of an object which is blocking the upper airway. This blockage can either be incomplete or complete. How would one recognize this? An individual who is choking with incomplete obstruction will, will be able to have some sound coming out of their, of their mouth. So they'll either come to you in this fashion and making a sound. But if there is no sound at all coming out of the mouth, usually that indicates a complete obstruction. Now, how do we tackle this? If the person is alert and conscious, and is able to express what's going on, encourage the individual to force violently cough. Ask them to cough very strongly. Give it three times, like this. <coughs> Usually, in an incomplete obstruction, this should be enough to dislodge the object. However, if this does not work, then you have to proceed into something we call the Heimlich Maneuver. The entire essence of the Heimlich maneuver is applying force at the lower part of the chest to expel air from the lungs outside, hoping that the object then gets dislodged. To do the Heimlich maneuver, you need to stand behind the victim. Keep in mind for this to happen, your victim still needs to be conscious. This cannot be done in an unconscious victim. Place yourself behind the victim with the victim's back against you. Lock your hands in this fashion as so. And you need to place this at the solar plexus. So the solar plexus is essentially the dimple or the dip that you feel just beneath the chest and above the abdomen. Keep in mind, make sure that you do not encroach into the abdomen. So place it like so. Find the dip. So here in this mannequin, the dip is over here. I'll lock my hands this way. And then we are going to move in a backward, upward fashion in brisk movements like so. One, two, three. I'll repeat this. We are going to move backwards and upwards in fast motions. One, two, three. Usually this should dislodge the object. If this does not happen and if the victim then ultimately collapses and becomes unconscious, we then move into the second aspect of this first response, which is basic life support and cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Once the individual is unconscious, make sure that you've kept the victim on a firm and flat surface. Approach and ensure that you are safe to approach. At this moment, you need to elicit a response by tapping on the victim's shoulder hard and fast. At the same time, calling out to the victim by name. Hello. Are you okay? Are you okay? If the victim does not respond, at this time, it would make sense to immediately call for help that's around you out loud. Help! Help! I need help! While you are awaiting for help, you need to do two things. One is check for breathing of the victim, like so. And also feel for a pulse, like so. Usually, if there is no breathing and no pulse, this is the indication for you to initiate CPR or cardiopulmonary resuscitation. We do that by giving 30 chest compressions fast and hard, followed by two breaths into the mouth. The compressions are given in an interlocked fashion, placed at the center of the breastbone between the two nipples, like so. With elbows locked, you are going to press down hard and fast, like so. You are going to do this 30 times before you give two breaths. The breaths are given by taking a breath in yourself and exhaling over one second. You need to tilt the head of the victim and push the chin back up. This opens up the airway, spread open the mouth, pinch the nose and execute your breath. If the victim is of choking at this juncture, you can see in the mouth if you notice the object. If the object is visible in the oral cavity, make sure that you can remove it with only this much of a fingertip. 
do not insert a blind finger if you cannot see the object i repeat if the object is visible and you can pull it out with two fingers do that if not do not do anything and continue with cpr 30 compressions with two breaths for demonstration purposes i will demonstrate this again you are going to give 30 compressions down hard and fast followed by two breaths like so and this is a cardiopulmonary resuscitation uh, you give five of these cycles after you recheck the patient to recheck if the person is becoming conscious or if the foreign body or object has gotten dislodged from the mouth if that happens you need to tilt the victim over to a lateral position and wait for medical assistance to arrive thank you for watching this video please know that these simple yet efficient life saving techniques work and they make a difference we at nanavati max believe in right care right away